Hello fairy friends, my name is Fairy Bell and I'm a book fairy and today we're going to be reading a book called Glitch. Glitch was a trembly, twittery, twitchy kind of bug who built amazing creations from the treasures he found on the rubbish heap where he lived. June was much more calm which made her a brilliant billy cart driver and his most trusted friend. Glitch twitched daily through the mountains of mouldy mess the dump trucks piled on the side of their hill, rummaging for materials he could use to make the best billy cart ever. He borrowed buttons, bottle tops and boxes. He collected cardboard, cling wrap and cellophane. He recycled ribbons, rubber bands, and random rubbish. Glitch built June the best billy carts in the business, but they had never won a race. Thanks to Glitch's twitchiness, they had never even finished a race. One year, Glitch twitched left when he was meant to lean right. He was so sorry. I'm such a scatterbrain bug. Another time, Glitch forgot to mention a large rock was in their way. He was even sorrier. I'm a mug of a bog. Last year, Glitch forgot to check the brakes and he was the sorriest he had ever been. June could have been badly hurt. This year, their billy cart was fast, very fast. So fast that on their very first test run, they spun out of control in a jumble of bruised legs and bent antennae. Glitch's heartstrings tugged, tugged, tugged when he saw the look of disappointment on June's face. How are you going to drive with bent antennae? worried Glitch. I'm not, said June. You are. This made Glitch twitchier than ever. On the morning of the big race, June arrived to collect Glitch. She knocked at the door, but no one answered. She knocked again, louder. I'm sorry, mate, whispered Glitch through the door. I'm having a bad hair day. You don't have any hair, said June. She knocked loudly at the window. I'm sorry, mate, whispered Glitch. I seem to have caught a tummy bug. You are a bug, shouted June. Nervously, Glitch crept outside. Mate, I'm scared I'll let you down again, Twitch Glitch. It's good that you're scared, June said. It means you're about to do something brave. The only way you'll let me down is if you don't drive. At the top of the rubbish pile, the two friends sat for a moment at the starting line, sandwiched between the piles of scrap metal, spoiled spaghetti and single socks. Don't let being scared stop you, said June, giving Glitch a reassuring smile. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends. Glitch smiled back, twitched, then gripped the steering wheel tightly, very tightly. On your mark, get set, go! The racers charged, crashing sideways and chasing each other. Family and friends cheered them on. Glitch leaned right when they needed to go right. June looked out for rocks and Glitch swerved around them. And the brakes worked perfectly, slowing them down just enough for them to come in safely in second place. Don't let it bug you. June nudge Glitch with her antenna. We'll get them next year. Glitch wasn't bugged about where they'd come in the race. With his best friend by his side, he was enjoying the ride. And that's the end of the story. Have you ever built a billy cart before? I haven't. I wouldn't even know where to start. Maybe I could look for some recycled things and 
some wheels, something to sit on, and a steering wheel. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Thank you very much for listening to my story. And thank you very much for believing in me. And never forget that I believe in you too.